Welcome back to Same Right Fashion Academy YouTube channel for another interesting tutorial. In this class, I'll be teaching you how to make these beautiful, exaggerated ruffles on an off-shoulder dress, as you can see right there on the thumbnail and on the dress form right here. So this is actually looking gorgeous. You can use it for any occasion of your choice and you still look very good and standing out so these are the ruffles as you can see can you see them they actually came out well okay so if you would like to learn how to do this i'll implore you to stay to the end of this tutorial so you can learn thank you so to sew these um ruffles on the off shoulder dress i have them um, two kinds of um organza here okay so the organza you are supposed to use to do this has to be that uh, quality not too light but quality organza can you see so it's actually a quality organza if you look at this you can see it feels better than the light one i also have something looking like it okay so because i don't have much of this so i'm going to make use of what i have right here okay this is also another uh, kind of organza too and with this you can still have um, the same effect on the thumb nail so now i'll be using what i have right here because i don't have much of this so the first thing we are going to do is to bring in the bodies where we are going to attach this dress so i'll be using this um off shoulder bodies uh, to demonstrate this so you need your off shoulder bodies so this is the zipper part of this off shoulder so it's an off shoulder uh, bodies with strap so that's how you are going to make this so if you want to know how this uh, bodies is made the last video on this channel will teach you how to make this okay so now we are going to attach this on this body so to begin, we are going to take the measurement of the uh, parts we are going to attach. So this is the zipper allowance, okay, although it will not get to the zipper. So this is my one inch for zipper. I will start from where I'm going to sew it after one inch. So you can see how I'm measuring, taking the measurements. You can see how I'm taking the measurements on the neckline. Because that is where this is going to be attached. So I'm taking the measurement up to before the zipper point, which is 43 and half. So that 43 and half is where I'm going to attach this on the bodies. So I'll come with 43 and half from end to end, 43 and half. And the width here measures uh, nine inches. I also uh, half, uh, half. That's I'm putting it together now. I'm going to the machine. So by the time I sew half, I'll have the width at four inches. So I'll quickly sew it now, then turn it and bring. So now I've uh, stitched, as you can see, at 0 0.5. So the next thing I'll do is just to turn to the, I'm turning it to the right side now. So we'll start on the marking. So now I've turned it, as you can see. So now I've turned it, I'll centralize the stitch. I'll make it come in between this way. Can you see that? I'll make it come in between. Then once it comes in, in between, this is the front and this is the back that we we'll use to attach on that, on the bodies. So here, I'm going to make my markings. So I'm making my markings right away. So I'll just go ahead and mark out just half an inch, okay? So I will stitch it into the... I'm marking half an inch to stitch into the zipper allowance to cover it up so it does not show. So I'm going to mark 
this at intervals of one one inch so i'll take my time to mark one one inch this is where i'm going to sew the ruffles at one one inch so i'll quickly mark i marked at two two inches okay so please have it at two two inches not one one inch because I realize if you have it at one inch, it will be too close and might not give us exactly that effect. So I have to mark it at two, two inches to the end. Can you see? Leaving about half an inch, half an inch. So we we'll start our sewing of this shovel from here to here like that. So now I come in with the organza we are going to use for this um tutorial so this organza i'm using here is three yards okay um <clears throat> so these three yards will give us a full effect if your round shoulder measures about that 43 or 40 okay so i'm using three yards here so these three yards i'll just put it together at the salvage to salvage the length of the organza i just put it together salvage to salvage so once i've done that put it together as two i'll put this salvage again together to the folded parts i believe you understand what i did here i put it again to this uh, folded part so this is it so i've put it to this folded part i put it together first then put it again to this uh, folded part so now i'm going to turn this organza this way you can see how i turned it so we have to arrange it before we proceed and make sure everything is equal. So that's what I'm actually cross-checking to be sure everything is equal. So now I have it equal right now. So we'll start to mark. We are going to mark this. I will cut out. Uh, I will make a mark because I'm going to cut out this this part. So we we'll have a clean edge. So I will cut that part out. So next is to start the, taking the measurement from that point. I'll be taking my measurement at eight inches. Okay. So if I mark 8 inches, I'll mark it again. That is where we are going to run our gathers. We are going to run uh, gathers on that point. So I'll keep marking the 8, eight inches till I exhaust um, the 3 yards I folded. Okay, so till I exhaust the three yards I folded. So I will now go over, trim off these parts, then gather, just little gathers, little gathers on this line. So I'll make the gathers now. So right now I've made the gathers, okay? I just run the gather stitches and <clears throat> I use the contrasting thread for you to see what i'm doing so i'll just pick up my gathers and make little gathers okay so i'm going to make these gathers gently and slowly trying to bring them a little bit closer 
So that's what I'm going to do. What I'm doing now, that's what I'm going to do for the rest of them. Okay. So I just gather them at um, the measurement of 9 inches or 8 inches. So it depends on how large or how puffy you want it to be at the end of the day. So I'll just do gather at 9 inches. Okay. So I'm going to gather all at 9 inches before we sew the ruffles. So now I'm done gathering <coughs> this. Can you see? So you have all the gathers. So ensure that you gathered at 9, 9 inches. Can you see? So make sure all of them are gathered at 9, 9 inches. Like that. 9, 9 inches. So they have, they give you a, the exact effect. So I'll now come back with the with the strand, uh, the band. So you can see the bands have been marked at two, two inches. So I'll start from this one, the first one. So starting from the first one, I'm going to sew this. I'm supposed to cut out this part. So by the time I get to my machine, I'm going to trim it out at 0 0.5. So can you see how I placed it? This is how I'm going to place it while sewing, okay? So I place it this way. So let me just cut it out. So I've cut it out. So in sewing this, this is how we are going to sew it. The first line, we will sew the first line. Inverting this one, this way. Can you see? So I'm going to sew it this way so when sewing it now you can see this rough part for the beginning so make sure you centralize it and bring it this way that way that is for the beginning okay for the beginning part of it so you don't see it showing the rough part showing out so i'll go to the machine now i'm going to sew on this first line then i'll just do this do that then and stitch let me do that I see how I stitched this first part so now I'm coming to the next one this is how it's going to look like at the outer part so this is the next line can you see the gathers line I'll bring the gathers line to the two inches can you see so I'll bring it to the two inches and stitch so this part does not actually have any issue i'll just stitch it within the four inches once i'm done with that on that line i'll bring it to the next line can you see i'll bring this other one to the next line the next two inches i'll bring this one to the next two inches i'll bring this to the next two inches like that like that so now i've sewn about one two three four starting from the end so this is what we have i was stitching it at the two two inches interval okay so i'm making use of three years like i earlier mentioned but from what i'm seeing right here we'll need about six yards okay we we'll need about six yards so but the most important thing is that you've understood how to go about this okay so initially i was thinking three years would be enough but the three years i have here by the time i stitch this to this stitch that to that bring in another one you can see i've almost exhausted the three yards halfway so the rest of this half that is remaining you will need another six yeah so i encourage you to buy a whole organza six or even seven years if you have an excess you can cut it off just a whole length of six or seven yards then you follow this process to sew it to have this ruffle effect so i'm going to 
sew the rest of it right now so wherever it stops i will stop at that point okay so i will stop at that point so you can see we are having the ruffle effect so another thing you can also do is we have a we have the spacing at two inches so if you don't want it too packed up you can space at three inches if you space at three inches that means your your allowance here is going to increase remember we used eight eight inches for the organza spacing before we gathered so you can so if you are using three three inches gap okay if you don't really want it to be packed up <clears throat> it means you are going to increase the length of this we used eight inches here so you can use like 10 inches if you are using three inches so by the time you sew at three three inches you still have the same effect we are making right here so i'll go ahead and finish up what i have here i'll exhaust what i have here then show you how to sew it to the bodies so i've exhausted what i have of my um of my ruffles now as you can see so since i don't have enough i pretend this is the last one so this is the last one of 0 0.5 so i'll just fold it in like i did when i started i'll just fold it in remember how we started so once i fold it in this way i will sew by the side so it's, you have a neat finishing at the end of it so, so i'm pretending this is the last one now so and that is why i brought it to show you so i'm going to sew at the two inches just top stitch as if it's the last one okay so let me do that now all right so you can see how i neatly finished it so if you are working on these ruffles please ensure you are using your your matching thread i use a contrasting thread because of tutorial purpose so let us assume that everything i have here has completed this length i have so this is what i'm going to do with it i'll come over to the dress now so i'm going to tack this can you see where i'm tacking it that is after you have done sewing your dress okay so once you have done turning with lining and the way you know how to, you just come in, spread, open up the zipper. Can you see? You open up the zipper. And then once you open it up, you top stitch, top stitch. So you keep top stitching it this way. You can you keep use your machine and top stitch, top stitch like that, even to the sleeve. So to the sleeve area, you can also go ahead and do this. Can you see? Top stitch on top of the sleeve area. That's after you are done sewing your dress. So you spread it out and top stitch on top of them, following the neckline. Okay, as it is right there on the thumbnail, you can see it. Following the neckline, you keep top stitching till you get to the end of it. Can you see that? So that is how we do that. So I'll just quickly top stitch it and bring it back. All right, people. So this is what I did finally. Okay. Instead of top stitching like this, if you need um, want a neat finishing, this is what I did. I have to stitch, can you see? I have to raise it up and just stitch the band to the neckline directly, can you see? So this is the part I was unable to fill in. So I just stitched the band to the neckline. So if you are done with this process, I think it's better to stitch it on the neckline. Then you can come in with your lining, okay? You can now come in with your lining and place it that is if you need a if you want a neat finishing you can now turn it with your lining so nobody sees what happened to the dress but if you feel like you want to finish your dress before making this it's still okay so anyhow 
that you want to attach it and it's good for you is the same process so you can see how our ruffles are looking so make sure you have them equal as you can see right there so thank you very much for coming to this tutorial if you are new to this channel please kindly subscribe turn on your notification bell to receive videos like this every day like this video share to family and friends drop your comment on the comment section and your suggestions as well thank you for coming see you in the next class bye